Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys all about current favorites. And of course, whenever I talk about favorites, I like to do beauty mixed with a little bit of other things. Very random. I have my assistant Zoe back here today and my new backdrop, you guys. My cabinets are finally done, I'm so happy. Uh, this is like a little preview of it. These are all new shelves that I put in and then the um, brushed brass hardware. This project was intense. It was an intense project. One step into it, I was like, why did I not just rip these out and start over? But that would have been more construction, I'm sure. So anyway, I'm just so happy with the way that they turned out. It was a rough week while they were doing it, but I'm just like, wow, this looks so good. I'm really vibing. I love the color. I think it looks really, really nice. Zoe is really loving it, right Zoe? Do you like it? And just in case anybody's wondering like, oh my God, why do you have your dog up there? She loves to be up there. That's her bean. If you guys watch my IG stories, she loves to be on the countertop. If we're in the kitchen, she likes to sit on the counter. She just stays on her bean the whole time and she just like lives for it. She wants to be with us. She doesn't like to be on the floor. She feels like that's beneath her. First thing I wanted to talk about is foundations that I have been loving. My three go-to foundations right now for summer. So I have one that's like more on the hydrating, not super, it's not even super luminous. It's more of like a satin finish foundation, a natural, like an in-between foundation, and then also a matte coverage foundation. So I have three different ones that I'm gonna talk about. Um, the first one is the Smashbox Studio Skin. This is a 15 hour wear hydrating foundation. And I notice I always wear this when I go on tropical trips and tropical trips tend to be in very humid places. I know it sounds probably a little weird that I wear more of a hydrating foundation in a humid place, but it just works for me. I don't know why, it just vibes. But I really love this foundation, it looks good at any time of day, whatever. It lasts a really, really long time. I feel like it wears really well throughout the day. There are 40 shades of this foundation and it's just, I don't know, it's just one that I've been gravitating towards. I feel like if you're more on the oily side, it might feel a little bit too satiny, if you know what I mean, especially for summer, if it's really hot where you are. The next foundation is from Too Faced, the Born This Way foundation. This is definitely a medium to full coverage foundation. This one, I remember the first time I wore it, I thought it was super, super matte, like, oh my God, it was so matte. But just compared to how luminous the other foundations that I was wearing, that's when I was in like more of a skin tint phase. Wow, I just looked it up on Sephora and it said the finish is radiant. I don't know if I would say radiant, it looks really good on the skin. Uh, I love this foundation. This also comes in, how many shades, is it 40? But Jackie Ina worked with Too Faced to extend their shade range, which I thought was a really cool collaboration. So they have a really great shade range now, um, and it's just, it's a really good foundation. It looks really good. It's a very like medium to full coverage. You don't want something too luminous. You don't want something too matte. I feel like it's a good like middle of the road foundation. And then the third foundation that I've really been liking lately is from Makeup Forever. It's their Matte Velvet Skin. This one is definitely more of a matte foundation. So when it is literally like an inferno outside, I'll wear this one. Especially for it being a matte foundation, it does not feel like a matte. A lot of times matte foundations feel very heavy and they feel very dry and they look very powdery on the skin. But this one doesn't have that vibe and I really like the packaging of this. I wish these were more like this. I feel like this just makes so much more sense to me. So they have also 40 shades in this foundation. I've been using shade Y315. Really great natural looking matte foundation. And this one's long wear also. These are all very long wear, full coverage medium to full coverage foundations. Next product I wanted to share that I have been using a lot lately is, I know it's not new, but the Marc Jacobs Do You, the Do You Dew Drops. This is a liquid highlighter. Why are you in here? I had to escort Turbo out of the room because she was just, she loves to pace. See, Zoe just sits there and judges, but Turbo likes to pace. Anyway, so these are the Marc Jacobs Liquid Highlighter Do You Do Drops. They also have a rose gold color, but these I've noticed look so good on top of more matte foundations. So for me, this one is a little bit more of like a natural looking finish. So on this or on this foundation, the Dew Drops just look really, really good. I actually like to use that sometimes instead of a powder. So I'll just add it on top of the Beauty Blender either here, here, here. Oh my God, Zoe left and nobody told me. Do you wanna go? It just looks really good on top of foundation or even if you mix a little bit into the foundation, it looks really nice. It's not super metallic-y. It just looks really good. Next thing I wanted to share with you guys is from Sally Hands. And I have talked about this a couple times on Instagram stories, but I thought I'd talk about it here. This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Leg Makeup. Um, there is the spray. I have many, many bottles of the spray, which I like the spray, but I still 
blended in with my hands or a brush. So when I saw this, which I believe is newer, I was like, oh, okay, let me try this out instead of the spray. Cause the spray to me, like I have to do it in the bathtub or I have to do it outside and then I have to rinse out the bath. It's kind of just like, mm, I don't know if this is for me. It's kind of a lot of work. So I decided to try this out and I mix this in with some moisturizer. I've used Nivea. I've used the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I have a big old jug of it. Mix it together so that way it almost dilutes it a little bit. So that way it's not so strong. I've used this as just self tanner if I don't want to like self tan my body, but I would like, you know, to look a little bit less pale. I will mix this in with some moisturizer and like put it on my arms, put it on my chest, put it on my legs. And it gives me just a little, like a little kiss of sun, just a kiss. But I feel like it just is like a very temporary self tan. If that's something that you're looking for and it doesn't come off, which is great. I mean, can it transfer? Yes, if it's like really hot and you're sitting in a leather seat or something, there could be a situation. But for the most part, I feel like when you're trying to get it off, it won't come off. You know what I mean? It's like, why won't you come off right now? Cause it's waterproof, but I don't know. It just works really well. I prefer this one over the spray personally. Next thing I have for you guys is something that I've talked about many, many times. These are the Makeup Forever Artist color pencils. There's a bunch of different colors in here, but I really kind of stuck in this department right here. You can use these pencils pretty much anywhere if you want to use them on the eyes, lips, face, whatever. Whenever I use a pencil on my lip though, I keep it lip, just a lip pencil. But my favorite colors of these pencils, the number one favorite I have is Wherever Walnut. This is the shade that I'm wearing right now. It's for the most part all over my, not all over my lips, but I use around the whole lip. And then the other shade that I really like is Total Taupe, which is this color. And these two together, I kind of live and die for it. Total Taupe I wear on like the outer corners if I wanna make it look more dramatic and also in the top of the Cupid's bow. These two together give me so much life. The other shade that I like is Anywhere Caffeine, number 600. This one is just like kind of an in-between those two. And then this one, I actually was wondering, Endless Cocoa, could this be a less dramatic version of Total Taupe. But the two colors, Wherever Walnut and Total Taupe, I like live for them. I love them so much. I'm terrified I'm gonna lose them because I just, I don't have any backup. So I'm like, I really have to keep track of them. I also wanted to share another brand because I know Makeup Forever is pricier. The LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liners. These ones, they have a bunch of different types of lip liners. There is another one that I believe is like a twist up one, but this one in particular is the one that I like. It reminds me so much of MAC lip pencils and the shade Sugar and Spice, I really, really, really like. It's very similar to Spice from MAC. I cannot find it anywhere. It's probably in a purse somewhere and I just redid the closet and redid all of this. I put most of the stuff back, but I can't find those pencils right now. I'm like, I don't know where they are. So I am really sorry that I couldn't include like a swatch of it in this video, but they're really amazing. I have always loved LA Girl lip liners. They're old school ones I really liked. I love their gel liners for the waterline and these are incredible lip pencils as well. I don't know if there's like a taupey shade though, like a deeper taupey shade. I'm gonna have to check online. All right, so now I'm gonna go into some lifestyle stuff that I feel like I get a lot of questions on. So I was like, you know what? This is my favorite. Let me go ahead and put it in a video. The first one is my workout gloves that I like to use and they, typically look like this. When I would work out, I used to wear gloves like this that go around the hand like so. So the thing about me, I don't know about you guys, but when I get hot or when I work out, my hands and my feet get like on some super swole. Like I get just really puffy and swollen. So my hands swell and then like gloves don't fit me and I just feel like I'm being trapped. I feel like I'm being attacked by my gloves. Some people think wearing gloves is like a little bitch move. Take off the goddamn lifting gloves and lift like a man. But I don't care. I don't want calluses on my hand. It's as simple as that. So these gloves, they have a little finger slot here. And then it also has Velcro on this side. And then you wrap it around and it has a wrist strap in it as well. So it's like this. They are super comfortable and the most important thing for me on these is they let my hand breathe. Even in these, sometimes my fingers feel a little trapped just by this right here, but it's so much better than like my whole hand feeling attacked by the gloves. So I really like these ones and I'm like, you know, hey, hey. I found these on Amazon, so I'll link them below. I know there's a ton of different brands out there. I looked at some of the reviews. I keep going like this. I don't know why I want to have these on. It just makes me want to go like this. Uh, I looked at a lot of the reviews and these ones just seem like a good fit for me. So these are the ones that I ordered. I got a size small. I highly recommend them. They protect me from dangerous calluses and they help me with my grip a lot. They're not too thick. Sometimes gloves are like too thick right here and it actually like, I, my grip strength is horrible, like actually holding something. 
So it helps a lot having something like a lot thinner right here um, and not something super bulky. So that way I, can, I can actually hold something. Next thing that I have is a snack. This is actually what I'm eating right now. I'm kind of wondering if this is what's lodged in my throat, making me cough nonstop. But uh, I've gotten a few questions on what my favorite brand of macadamia nuts are. <coughs> this so far has been my favorite brand of macadamia nuts, the Royal Hawaiian Orchards. <coughs> macadamia nuts are pretty expensive. Actually, I mean, most nuts are pretty expensive but macadamia nuts are particularly expensive. I've tried, <clears throat> I've tried the Ralph's brand. Some, it's like some of them in there are good, but some of them are really gross, like a bad peanut. You know, it's like when you get a bad nut, it's like, oh my God, just kill me right now. The Whole Foods brand I like, but they're really salty. Like I think I like really salty foods. I like things to be salty, but they're, I guess it ends up like I don't eat as many because they're so salty that I like low key can't handle it. But these are my favorite ones to get. I ordered these off Amazon, but I know there's like a bunch of different places you can get this particular brand. I haven't tried the Mana, I don't know how to say it, Mana Loa. Mauna Loa macadamia nuts. I don't need to be like elevating my taste like that. I'm happy with these ones. These are a little bit cheaper. It's such a good snack. They're so good, I'm telling you. Like, especially with chocolate chips, it's just dangerous for me. I can eat a whole bag of each, no problem. Ah, oh, next thing I wanted to share, I got so many questions on this, which I found interesting. This is just a water bottle, but I really like this water bottle. The size is good for me. I don't like like the big ass ones. Like I can't be carrying them. I would have to carry it with two hands. If I have to carry it with two hands, it's too big, okay? This size is 1.3 liters, which is perfect for me. I typically drink a liter of water while I'm, just while I'm working out, and then I'll drink at least another full one throughout the, the rest of the day. Like I'm not gonna tell anybody how much water you should be drinking throughout the day. I don't fucking know, okay? I don't know if anybody really knows. I just drink water when I'm thirsty. I like that it has this thing on it and it doesn't leak, which is really all I care about. <clears throat> um, so this I also ordered off of Amazon. I'll link this down below too. So the next thing I wanna talk about was really, it's kind of funny, it was like in response to my own video or my own uh, feelings, which a couple weeks ago when I just talked about like stress social media, overthinking things, overanalyzing. And it was like, it turned it turns into like this sick loop of where you overthink things and it makes you stressed out and then you get stressed out because you're stressed out and then you get anxious because of your stress. It's annoying, right? If you don't deal with that, you probably think I sound crazy, but if you do, you're like, yes, I know what you're talking about. So I decided to do a little self-help action. I was like, you know what? I need to figure something out here because this shit is annoying. I cannot live like this. It's just fucking annoying. So I went and bought this book that I've heard many things about and I decided to give it a shot. This is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And I've seen somebody read this before and I remember seeing the cover like, hmm. I decided to check it out and I decided to buy it. I bought it at the airport when I was going to San Francisco and I read the whole book in like, that weekend. One of the reasons why I really like this book is it's a very, I don't want to say like low level reading, but it's not high level reading. It's not like about psychological terminology and stuff like that. It's a very understandable way of thinking. It's literally like you're in somebody's head hearing their thoughts. Very easy read, if that makes sense. I'm like, I don't want to say it in a way that sounds fucked up. So I was just really intrigued by this because it's basically like stop trying so hard is kind of like the mood of the book. I guess you could say it's like, it's it's not like, oh my gosh, yes, you can do it, keep going. You're doing so good, who cares, you know? It's not like a over coddling type of approach, which I really, really like. It's literally like, no, that sucks. Accept the fact that it sucks. Decide if you wanna stress about it and then move on with your life. You know what I mean? It's like really put things into a different perspective and I swear to you, like it actually helped me. And the thing about this, I don't know if it's like a temporary fix. So it's like, there's gonna always be things in your life that stress you out, but it's really, how are you gonna react to it? Are you gonna like put all your energy into being mad about it and stressed about it? Or are you gonna put it into something else? It's just helped me accept a lot of things and I never ever thought that a book would have that kind of impact. I'm hoping it's more than temporary, but in the meantime, it's really helped me out. <laughs> anyway, those are all my favorite things that I've really been into for the past few months. Let me know what you guys have been loving lately, makeup wise or lifestyle, let me know. I always wanna know. So that concludes this video for all of my current beauty and lifestyle favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.